you know, since we, you know, on the topic of, you know, strong women. See, that's the other thing, man. People think when I talk about these gender roles and are women a new men that I'm, I'm trying to be dismissive of their strength. You know, if anything, I'm acknowledging their strength. You know, who else talking about this kind of stuff besides us? Nobody. Uh, I don't, nobody. <laughs> nobody. You know, we really bigging y'all up. It just sounds kind of, you know, strange in 2023. But if you listen to the words that's coming out of our mouths, you can see we really bigging y'all up. Since we're talking about um, gender and this was a topic that kind of caught heat the first time. But, hey, I'm going to approach it again, man. I'm going to approach it again. You think women becoming new men? And by that, I, and by that, I mean with these gender roles starting to fade away and women sometimes have to be the breadwinner or women sometimes have to you know provide and protect or and and this stuff is not by choice you know sometimes they have to fill these roles because it's not a man there to do it you know with that being the case if we look on a on a on a bigger scale of things who do you think is handling their business more men or or women what do you 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 have to remember um when it comes to women having to play the role um play both roles women have been doing that for years for years for years on top of years and the conversation or the question was never if women were becoming the new men it was just were women doing what we were supposed to be doing in the first place they were acting they were doing the, the, the normal mother thing as well as trying to be there for their you know for their boys uh, specifically or, or, or for girls you know specifically um, in a in a role of uh, masculinity, right? And having to play the role of that breadwinner. I grew up in a house where my mother was the breadwinner, no matter who was in the house. Right. That's real. right. And and so seeing that from my mother, uh, believe it or not, helped me to become the man I am today. Because without seeing her work as hard as she did, I wouldn't know what work looked like. But yeah, man, that's real, man. Our parents could definitely show us like that work ethic, man. Even if we don't know what we're seeing at the time, you know, it's it's crazy how that works. It's, it's crazy, man. And and I just, you know, for it's, it's for future generations to make sure that you know you the, the 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 woman in your life, you want her to have the option to work and not feel like it's mandatory that she has to go and 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 provide when. If we're thinking about the traditional gender role, that is the man's responsibility. Right. You are to provide for the family. And if she wants to go and be great, and she wants to, to, to do things to help out the household, be my guest. I'll never tell you no that you can't, because now I'm taking away your choice. Right. I don't want to ever tell you no. But what I will say is that if you don't feel like this is what you want to do, and you want to do something else that helps our family, or you want to do something else that, that benefits us, by all means, go do it. Yeah. Because I'm going to do the necessary things to make sure that our household is provided for on a daily basis. Right, right. That's real. 